When it comes to making videos, most people only think about the video part of the video, but video only actually makes up 50% of your video. Audio makes up the other half and so many people neglect audio. You see it all the time. Their video looks great, but their audio sounds really empty, tinny, and it just sounds really amateur. And that's because they haven't thought to use a microphone. They're just using the microphone built into the camera. And that's where they're going wrong. I'm not saying the microphone in camera is bad. It's not actually a terrible microphone. The problem is you're too far away from the camera for the microphone to sound good. And that's the same for any single microphone. The reason why this microphone is so close to me is because it sounds great when I'm this close to it. If I was to go all the way back there, it would sound really empty and really flat. Now, there are many different types of microphones available to you. You've got shotgun and boom microphones, and these are the ones that appear just out of frame here. And this is the one that you see people holding on a large big boom pole. Now, you don't have to use the big boom pole, but you can just get a stand to put this on top of you. And that sounds great. These are really good because they're directional, which means only the sound coming from the front of it is going to be picked up. Anything from the side is going to be reduced. So if I talked at the side, it wouldn't sound great. And these are great. You can get really cheap ones for about 200, 100, and then you can get really expensive ones that go up to about a grand. So these are a really good option, but they are going to require an XLR cable to plug into your camera or a sound recorder. Then of course, as well, we've got the traditional handheld microphone. You can get these in many different shapes and sizes, at loads of different price points. Now these are great because they capture 360 degrees. You don't have to be pointing this in a specific direction. As long as this is roughly close to your face, then it's going to sound great. But of course, this might feel a little bit informal or it might feel like you're hosting a TV show. So generally, I wouldn't go for this option. And then of course, you've got the classic wireless lavalier microphone. Now these are great and you can pick these up anywhere from 100 all the way up to five, six, 700. But these are really good because you can place these on anybody and they can move around and you don't have to worry about following them with a microphone. They've got the microphone attached to them at all times. Now these are used on TV shows and films all over the world at all different levels. And it's because they're so great and so reliable. If you invest in a decent wireless lapel microphone, it will give you great sounding audio for a very long time. Now, because it is wireless, there are restrictions about how far away you can be from the camera. And of course, you also have to make sure that you're not clashing with other frequencies. There are complications, but these sound great and they give you that flexibility to move. This microphone is great, but if I simply just go back here, the sound quality has changed already versus to when I'm right next to it. But when this is mounted to you, you can move anywhere and that microphone distance is never going to change. You're always going to be this close to the microphone. And then of course, like I keep pointing to, you have the studio microphone. Now this is typically a podcast microphone, but it's really great in these talking head environments where I'm not moving around too much. They sound really great. It's a really rich, deep sound. It's really good and really high quality, but you do have to be very close to it. I couldn't hide this out of the frame because simply moving 30, 40 centimeters away from it, it's going to sound bad. Now, those are your options for microphones, but it doesn't matter which microphone you choose. Obviously, the wireless lavalier is gonna give you more flexibility. The boom microphone is great because you can mount that outside of the frame. This studio microphone is great because it gives you really warm sound quality. But overall, the one rule that you need to remember when it comes to capturing sound is to get the microphone as close to the person talking as possible. Now, there is obviously a lot more that goes into audio recording, but the one big thing that's going to massively help you to dramatically change your videos today is to just simply get a microphone as close to the person talking as possible. So if you're filming a talking head video like this, where you're talking into camera, rather than putting the microphone next to the camera or using the microphone built into the camera, take that microphone and get it as close to the person talking as possible. And I promise you, your audio is gonna sound a thousand times better. Now, obviously you do also have to think about wind noise if you're filming outside. You have to think about interference. You have to think about distortion, understanding your sound levels. There is a lot more that goes into it. And I do go into that in the full video production masterclass. But the one tip to get you started is to just get a microphone really close to the person. 